when you start uh, rationalizing why certain things are okay, it's a very slippery slope. And it will lead to other things like, oh, I'm not going to talk about this thing I'm uncomfortable to say to my significant other. And then all of a sudden it translates into work. You're like, oh, well, I'm not going to talk to my boss about this thing I'm worried about. And, oh, maybe I'm not going to go to the gym this morning. And all of a sudden over time, first slowly and then it speeds up, you end up at some version of rock bottom, whatever that looks like for you. I think what's important to understand here is that discomfort is discomfort. You know, like, have you ever experienced physical discomfort? I'm sure. Like you stub your toe, right? Physical discomfort, emotional discomfort. Maybe somebody's afraid to speak in public, afraid to have a difficult conversation, afraid to ask for help. It turns out physical, mental, emotional, the brain and the body process them almost identically. The research is on a University of Michigan. So much so, maybe you know this already, you can take acetaminophen, Advil, and it will help you with emotional pain. All the disclaimers about that. I'm not a doctor. I don't suggest that. That's not a biohack. But what I do suggest is we can take the next step, which is if where you meet discomfort is the same anywhere, we can grow our capacity to deal with it everywhere. It's a muscle you build. If you want to build your biceps, you go to the gym. Well, if you want to build your resilience, your courage, your breakthrough results, you hunt discomfort no matter what form it's in. The confidence, the will to not hit that snooze button, avoid the discomfort of getting out of bed in the morning, right? That's going to translate into more strength to get to the gym. Strength to get to the gym is going to translate into more courage to have that difficult conversation. The courage in the difficult conversation is going to turn into maybe make it easier to let go of beliefs, limiting beliefs about yourself or others that are no longer working. And as we can turn ourselves away from avoiding that discomfort to looking for it, to opening ourselves up to it anywhere and everywhere, it um, not only will build ourselves back from any rock bottom, but is the recipe for any breakthrough growth. Mm -hmm. 